Okay, for processing uh, body fluids, for example, in this case, uh, urine. So, okay, as usual, first we examine the patient uh, ID. The, make sure the name and the patient ID is correct. Come in the proper container for urine. Container. And then we look on the gross appearance. For example, in this case, it is uh, clear, uh, yellowish uh, urine with a volume around uh, 50 ml. Okay, and then we proceed with transferring uh, most of the fluid into uh, centrifuge uh, tubes. First, make sure we label the tubes with the patient ID and name. Label, at least with two identification number uh, type for the care mix the specimen the volume uh, for both of the uh, tubes uh, balance okay. volume and then uh, proceed with uh, certification uh, And the position of the tube also need to make sure they are facing uh, precisely facing each other. Okay, the position should be uh, facing each other to make sure the rotor in the balance uh, condition between the weight. So if, if they are not balanced, uh, the centrifuge will not uh, spin the specimen. Once uh, we finish uh, with the first uh, normal uh, first step, which is a uh, normal certification, so the, sed the sediment should be uh, somewhere on the bottom of the uh, tubes. And in cases like this, where no observable sediment can be uh, uh, seen, so we should uh, proceed with a uh, cyto certification step. So how we should perform this first? Uh, Discard the supernatant and less than one mil of the uh, remaining specimen. Next you. Okay. Make sure we have uh, uh, some specimen left with the sediment. Then we take a, a new uh, posture pipette and then mix the sediment. So after that, uh, for cyto spin process or cyto certification, we need a uh, cyto uh, spin chamber here. This is uh, the place where we will. I transfer the uh, specimen into this and then uh, come together with the filter paper so how we should uh, perform this uh, prepare uh, two, two clean glass lights and 
and uh, at least with two ID. So take the clipper, uh, place the clean glass light here, and then the uh, side to spin chamber together with the filter paper, and then carefully clip them together. So we need to make sure the space, uh, surface of the smear facing uh, upward means facing the filter paper. This is the the this is the exit of the specimen once we finish uh, the side to speed process. Okay, so we have two here, so this is extra. What we should do is transfer the specimen uh, around three to five drops. Not so much. everything inside the fluid place the cap and this uh, uh, should be ready for uh, set to spin process ok, uh, this is uh, an example of uh, side to spin that we have in our lab Place the cycle funnel so the cycle spin chamber to get the with specimen. Make sure they are facing each other. We need to balance out. And then uh, place the cover. close the lid and then we start a spin ready to go so uh, the amount of setup is uh, 1200 rpm for 5 or 10 minutes okay, uh, here are the uh, set of spins uh, slide that already finished the certification uh, process so Take out the slides, and the smear should be here and quickly, immediately uh, immerse uh, them into the wet fixing tape. Okay, done.